Welcome to this video on creating a quick rule in Microsoft Outlook to manage meeting invite confirmations so that your inbox doesn't get super busy every time you send out a meeting. So I'm going to do this on Outlook online, so on a web browser, because it's the easiest way to do that. And I'm currently in my Outlook at the moment. And I'm going to go to the top right hand corner and click on the cog. And that's where I'm going to see all of my settings. And that's going to open up a nice big settings box for me to be able to make changes to my Outlook and also make rules. And it's a rule that we're going to be interested in. And this just helps to keep your inbox super focused and super clear. So you're not getting clogged up with those meeting confirmations, especially if you're sending out loads of meetings. So I'm going to click on rules. And then you can see I don't have any rules in here. So I'm going to add a new rule. And my new rule is going to be meeting. Meeting confirmations. And then so I'm just going to name it so that I know what it is if I need to go back and make changes or I need to delete it. So make sure it makes sense to you. And then I'm going to go and add a condition so I can do this based on the subject or body includes because I'm going to be looking at those auto replies that come when someone says yes, no or maybe. So subject or body includes and then I'm going to add some text. So I'm going to put accepted. Press enter. I always forget to do that to accept that, to accept the accepted. And that's funny. Put declined in there and put tentative as well. And press enter each time to lock those in. So that it says accepted, declined or tentative. It's going to shove it. It's going to move it into wherever I put it. Now, I'm not going to automatically delete it because some things might get stuck in there by accident. But this is a really great way to pick all of those up. I can also add another condition in there if I wanted to. But what I'm just going to do is go to add an action. And then I am going to get it to move it to. And then I can select a folder. Now I can either pick a folder or I can create a new folder. So if I click create a new folder, I'm just going to put meeting confirmations in there and click on save so it's going to move it to that folder but it's still going to be marked as unread so what I also need to do is add another action and mark it as read so that it's not going to look like I've got loads of emails that I need to read so it just really nicely helps you manage your workload and doesn't make you want to think you constantly need to go and pick up those emails they're just confirmations of either accept, decline or tentative on those meetings that you've sent out. And if you're sending them out to a lot of people or a mailing group, then you might get quite a few back. So once you've done that, also need to all you need to do is click on save at the bottom and that will lock that rule in place. You can see that there. You can see I've got a toggle to turn it on and off. And to the right hand side, I have a pencil to edit it. I've got a bin to delete it and if you're never quite sure sometimes if you hover over them then they'll show you which it does there and I can use the play button if I want to run the rule right now and it'll pick up anything in my inbox and do what I've just suggested it do so let me just click and run that rule and it'll pick up any of my emails anything that's a meeting confirmation or decline and push it into that folder and mark it as read so once you've created it, you don't have to manage all of those emails before you create it. You can create it and then let it run once you've created it so I can pick anything historical up, which is super useful. Now, there are tons of other rules you can create, but this one might be a great place to start off with. So please do have a go at that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you can see when I post new videos and let me know if you'd like me to record anything next.